So a few days back, I saw a video where somebody was showing Pocket Base, um, which is a Firebase clone based on top of SQLite. And um, one of the things that came up was it doesn't scale horizontally. Uh, you would have to scale up your machine vertically. And that was a common theme in the comments and everywhere I read about it. So I wanted to kind of address that. And I, I wanted to kind of do a quick demo of a tool that you can use uh, in a pure Unix philosophy where each of the tools is doing their own job. And uh, I've set up a demo. So let me walk you through it. So what I've done is I've got two machines here. Uh, this is my local machine, of course. And this is my another local machine on the network. It's just that I've shell, I've shell, done a shell into the machine. And uh, I've got my pocket, pocket base up and running. And um, all I've done is I've created, well, I've got something in there as well. So let's get rid of that. Um, all I've done is over here, um, I've created a collection called books uh, with just one field title required. Same in the other one, nothing should be here. Title required. So the schema is exactly matched essentially both of the databases are at exact same spot right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to shell. I'm gonna just gonna clear out my state first on both machines, just to make sure there is nothing in the state sitting before I launched Marmot. So over here, what I've done is uh, I'm binding it to this machine's local address uh, and uh, then pointing the database path to the database of pocket base that's on my local machine and giving it a node ID. And as a bootstrap, I'm pointing to the other machine with the same port as this one and a node ID of one. And I'm running it up in the verbose mode. I'm going to do the same thing here, just the other way around. You can see the one on the top is trying to connect. And you can see it binds to its own IP address, points to its own database. Here's a node ID, and here's a peer node that I've got here. So essentially, what these two instances of Marmot has done is they have installed hooks into these tables. And they're active listeners now, uh, doing multi-master replication. And uh, for details on how it works, you can actually go to the GitHub repo. But I'm going to just show you how it works from this point now. So if I come in here, so I'm going to add a record in my local machine. Let's add a book called Harry Potter, for example. In fact, let's add one more here. Order two. And by definition, what should happen is, uh, as I added the records over here, these changes should be uh, propagated across. So you can see my local node notified the change for book type and it was replicated. And you can even see the IDs here being dumped and we can check like these are the exact same IDs. Side effect. Of this is, of course, now I have the rows replicated here. So just by inserting rows in here, I'm able to do a replication into the other node. And I can do deletes as well. So if everything works, that means hitting this refresh should get rid of those records. There you go. It's eventual consistent, so it might, as long as the table. Uh, as long as as soon as the database is unlocked and um, records are committed to database, uh, it would be immediately trans uh, transferred over. So uh, let's also try the. So we we've seen insert, we've seen delete. Let's try in uh, the up 
update case as well, just for sake of one more um, iteration on it. So I'm adding a record called Harry Potter on my local machine, and we can actually uh, go to the other machine and check that Harry Potter is there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm just going to say, wire here and hit save. And what should happen is the exact same thing. The updates should be propagated across to the other nodes as well. So this tool, Marmot itself, is available on my GitHub repo. It's in its early stages, but um, I can already make uh, your pocket-based instances scale horizontally just by introducing this 